Hi, my name is Jordi from CineCam and I've recently published a new short film called Backup Restore in collaboration with Adobe. Now, the concept is inspired by the new Terminator film Dark Fate and it was a lot of fun to work on this project, definitely the editing as well as there were some visuals and special effects in there. But with a heavy timeline comes long export times, right? Well, not necessarily. I've got a few tips for you on how you can speed up that export time. For starters, when you create a new sequence, check out the Settings tab. Under Video Previews, make sure to select a high-quality codec such as Avid DNX or Apple ProRes. And also use the same resolution as the sequence that you're working in. When you now decide to preview render while editing, those previews are already rendered into a good codec with the correct settings. And this means that once your project is finished and you go to the export window, you can check a box called Use Previews. Adobe Premiere Pro will not render those preview parts again, but simply use the existing ones. And this technique will drastically speed up your export times. Now, let's stay in the export window for a moment because what I want to look at is the most popular codec and that is the H264, which is selected when you choose one of the social media presets such as YouTube Full HD. A great preset that we always use for final delivery, but there's one setting which is really important. Scrolling down under the video tab, we can find the bitrate settings. Now, bitrate means the amount of bandwidth that you give to your video per second. The higher this number, the better the quality will be, but also the longer your export times will be. There is a CBR and VBR setting. CBR stands for constant bitrate, giving you X amount of bandwidth per second. VBR means variable bitrate. Here you set a minimum and a maximum bitrate per second. VBR has the benefit of utilizing the given bandwidth much better resulting in better quality video in a smaller file size, but export times will take longer. There's also a two-pass VBR settings, which will literally render your video twice to get an even smaller file size while retaining its quality, but it's gonna take double so long. And apart from CBR and VBR, the higher your bitrate is, the longer the export times will take. So usually for Full HD, I pick 20 megabits per second, which is plenty enough and still goes relatively fast. With an Ultra HD export, I tend to choose 60 megabits, which is gonna take a lot longer. If I'm short on time, I would set this to 40 or even 30 megabits. And these bitrate settings are one of the most impactful when it comes down to export time, so it's definitely worth looking at. And with this, I hope that you've learned something new today. You can find a playlist in the description with more tutorials from my short film. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative.